I'm Kelsey with Peacock Family Chiropractic. We're Max Living Health Center in Fishers, and I wanted to share with you today a freezer meal. Um, freezer meals have been a huge time saver for me. I get home and I'm able to have a meal defrosted and that's um, warmed up in the crock pot or just warmed up over um, the stove. So this today is gonna be your white chicken chili recipe. That's a classic I really enjoy. Uh, first of all, I'm gonna use just over a pound of chicken. I simply rinsed it and I'm gonna add it to my bag to cook for later. It's a lot of chicken. Um, you're also welcome to add all of the ingredients to your crock pot and simply put it in the crock pot for four to six hours um, and you can enjoy after that. Um, so I'm also gonna add a large onion chopped up Four cloves of garlic. I use already minced garlic. It is a huge time saver. I love it. I'm gonna use um, a can of corn and I'm adding just a little extra that I needed to use up from my freezer. So I always think about it as the more veggies I have in here, um, the further my, my dollars on my meat that I spend, the further those dollars go. I also love that this corn is from um, Trader Joe's. And so Trader Joe's brand items are committed to non-genetically modified foods. Um, and they also have no sugar added. These corn items don't, which is great. Corn shouldn't need any added sugar. Okay, um, next I'm gonna add two cans of beans. I'm using northern beans today, but sometimes, depending on what I have in my pantry, I'll mix it up with some kidney beans or some black beans instead. All right, and then I'm gonna go ahead and add my, um, like my seasonings or my salt, things like that. So I've got a half a teaspoon salt. I like the Himalayan sea salt, sea salt, I just, I like the flavor. I think it adds a lot more to my food. Um, oregano, one teaspoon oregano, and two teaspoons of cumin, and that is optional. I think it's great. And then I have some cilantro that we have from Garst Gardens this summer, and I chopped it up, put a little bit of olive oil on it, and put it in the freezer, and now I get to reap the rewards of a beautiful summer harvest, adding that cilantro, okay? So I'm going to put this in the freezer. I've got it labeled so I don't forget <laughs> that it's white chicken chili. And then when I am ready, I can just dump it out into the crock pot, add chicken broth, and let it cook for that four to six hours. So when it's done cooking, you can add lime juice. The juice of about two limes just really adds a punch of flavor. So that's my favorite addition at the very end. And then um, if you would like, when you serve it into a bowl, you can add, then add a couple of slices of avocado. You could add some uh, hormone-free cheese. Some shredded cheddar is delicious. Um, and or some organic tortilla chips. Um, you could even have as a side dish to this delicious meal, a side salad. And I just want to give a shout out to my cousin, Maria Kringle, for the recipe that she gave me about 10 years ago. We've used it dozens and dozens of times, and it's a party pleaser and a family favorite. 